Hey, what's going on, guys? Happy Friday. Hope you guys are having had a great week and have some great plans for the weekend. I know I have some great plans, and I'm gonna kill it on the weekend as well. Um, got us some family time. Got us some on the review on the charts. Um, but so far on the week has been pretty good. I mean, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe to the video. I'm gonna be more motivated to make more video for you guys, so you guys can learn quite a bit from me. Uh, hopefully, guys, you guys are learning quite a bit. Um, so first things first, we always look at the markets and see what's going on in the market before we actually decide what to do, right? Uh, markets are basically flat, right? I mean, nothing is really going on in the markets uh, as far as the Dow, the Spiders, uh, and the NAS. Uh, the speculative sector, the IWM, which is a small cap sector where uh, the risk on, risk off actually takes place. Uh, if we take a look on the daily chart for IWM, i bring that up for you guys. Uh, so we're still on the sideways consolidation, right? I mean, we broke out, it retest. So next week should get interesting. See if we get any more legs on it. Um, let's look at the trade which I did today on RH, um, which is Respiration Hardware. Now I talked a lot about uh, trading with the trend. Now this is one something which is trading um, trend reversal kind of trend. Why? Take a look at the chart on the daily chart, right? Past couple of gaps have been sold off. I mean, last time it gapped up, it got sold off. Uh, Try to go back up again, and it came over here, and then got sold off again. Now, if you look on this chart on the restoration hardware, right? I mean, this trailing pattern on here, uh, it is just moving on a sideways consolidation, right? Don't need to be a super genius to figure this part out. Uh, just moving on sideways consolidation. Today actually gapped up. Now, look at the shorts on, on the shorts in there. 40. 0.77%, which means if there was 38.37, uh, 41% of it is short. Now imagine if you were short, uh, all these people who have been shorting all the way through, now we start gapping up and the gap holds, guess what they're going to do? They're going to start cover and that's where you get the rip. Uh, Multi-time multi for analysis, once again, uh, break of the trend, um, it held the trend. So couple of trades which I did on this one, I took two trades on this, one was at break of 31 and one was break of 31 or 31 to 17. So if you break it down to the 5 minute chart, it's going to make things a bit easier for you to understand what's going on. Uh, on the restoration hardware, the 5 minute chart that I really played it was, first as I mentioned I like to play the, the whole and the half numbers. So this $31 level, my intent really was, um, this was the break, right? So my intent really was if this went from $28 to $31, had what side is consolidation, you know what, this might actually start a trend. That's why when I got involved with it just over $31, I took some, I took 100 shares off at $31.42. Uh, rest I had to smack it out at $31.12 because I uh, wasn't really seeing because started doing all this zigzag, zigzag, all this BS. Now, once you know the stock is on a trend, it's always good to have it on watch, right? Um, I mean, if you look at this chart, I got a bit of delay entry on it. I mean, I went on the break for 31.20 and tried to play for the push on this. Uh, if you try to make the trades a bit better, you can actually see the rational break was over at 30.90 somewhere, right? If you got under 30.90, you have all the risk uh, that you can possibly take for it to ride. I was, I entered it at a pretty high price of 31.17, so just a bit of a shakeout also I won't be able to tolerate. That's what you look at it. Once I got involved at 31.17, I took partials at 31.47, 57, and last one at 31.74. So overall, a really good trade and 400 shares. Couldn't really have asked for a lot more. Uh, the other name which did came up on my radar was AOI. One name which has been trending up for a while. Uh, not the easiest of the name to uh, swing trade, but in terms of day trade, you can see this. Uh, let me show you on the daily chart. This was a trend trading at at its best, right? Uh, so overall, the stock is up, right? You don't really need to be a genius to figure out from left to right what's going on. Now, the only idea is, are you going to find an opportunity to actually trade, right? So when I say market is good, market is good in the sense that whenever there is a trade, it becomes an easy name to look at. See, it went from $41 all the way to $47, and it went a sideways consolidation. Now, once it broke over this level, uh, over this 46, it actually went up to $48. So I had a $2 move on there as well. So a lot of easy names to trade. Don't make things too complicated in life. Uh, life is easy. 
Uh, trading is easy. Don't have to complicate it. Um, that's it for the day, guys. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Gonna make more for you guys to learn. Have a good weekend.